The source of an inspiration from nature or fellow neighbor, it always put the trigger in curious mind of human. How about the copy? A way to own the desired function or object. Now, as much as most of us looking down at the copy, copying is actually human innate skill. We copy to learn and to understand. When for the first time, the idea of modern printer was presented by Charles Babbage, he couldn't guess how far vivid imagination of scientists would carry this idea. Here, we are going to present you the concept of the bioing. The first ever organ transplantation was performed during the 60s by Christian Barnard. It opened a whole new world towards human, and with it, it raised new challenges to be overcome. While life scientists were busy solving these problems, engineers developed the concept of the printer to a whole new level, what is called 3D printer. Frequent achievements in this novel approach presented the new question, how about 3D printing of an organ? Human organ is a complex structure. The combination of the different tissues such as muscles, nerves and blood vessels. Now if we could create the ink, a specified bio ink for each of these tissue containing healthy cells, a 3D printer practically should be capable to produce human organ. It sounds like a wide idea from scientific fiction movies, but actually scientists took it serious and already started to solve the problems. One example here is the research has been performed by the Darcy Wagner group in Lund University. We are not able to print complex organs yet, but in Lund University researchers in Darcy Wagner's lab took step forward to 3D printed organs with developing new bioink. Bioink is a printable material that contains living cells and it creates necessary environment for cells living and proliferation. The new bioink was made by combining materials made from seaweed, alginate and extracellular matrix made from lung tissue. The bioink is important because it supports the bioprinted materials over several stages of its development towards tissue. The researchers used patient-derived cells for the first time to print small human airways containing two types of cells found in human airways. For the transplant site, the team used the model that closely resembled the immunosuppression used in patients undergoing organ transplantation. 28 days after transplantation, new bioink appeared well integrated in, into surrounding tissue without any obvious signs of inflammation or foreign body response compared to control animals. Histological analysis further confirmed major differences in tissue level remodeling between these two groups. Using light sheet microscopy, the team examined vascularization of transplants and find out that the new bioink supports the vascularization, what is tremendously important for clinical translation. For this project, the researchers focused on the lungs, but the proof of concept could be used for the other types of organs as well.